Welcome, welcome. For today's video, I'm going to talk about the new X-Men 97 series. X-Men 97 is a continuation of the original series from 1992. And for those who don't know, the series follows a group of people called mutants who are born with superhuman abilities. In this group, the X-Men are founded by Professor Charles Xavier, who wants to protect both humans and mutants alike. And the new series takes place a year after Charles Xavier nearly dies in an assassination attempt, and he is taken to space to be healed by the Shi'ar Empire. And the X-Men face new challenges without Xavier, like fighting some enhanced sentinels, and mutant hate groups, and new villains alike. And if that wasn't bad enough, they are now under the leadership of their former adversary, Magneto. But Magneto says that he has changed his ways in order to respect Charles' last wishes. For instance, he saves regular humans, and he even stands trial for his past actions. And things seem to be going well with Genosha as it became a UN nation and Magneto gets pardoned. But then this shit happens. He's back! Jean? I need the X-Men. Uh, what? Jean? What? What the fuck? So yeah, one of the villains that returns from the original series, Mr. Sinister, shows up wanting to do more experimental shit. And it gets really heartbreaking as we get to see Cyclops and Madeline Pryor say goodbye to their infant son. And later on, we get to see the mutant nation of Genosha, where it looks like a fantastic paradise. However, shit really hits the fan when this happens. Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. After that genocide, the X-Men tried to capture the people really responsible, and then they learned that this shit's more complicated than it is, as it's one gigantic conspiracy, and so the X-Men have to kick ass 90s style. I think I just peed a little. So with all that out of the way, so what do I think of this series? And this series is fucking amazing. Like before the series came out, I checked out a few episodes of the original series just to get a good idea what it's like. And I gotta say, it sticks to what made the original series great with badass action scenes, soap opera style drama, and exploration of serious topics like hate and discrimination. And it was also 90s as fuck, man. Also, I appreciate that this series is not afraid to go dark and i mean really dark like holy shit like just look at the genosha genocide there like it's fucking heartbreaking not to mention it gets to adapt iconic moments from the comics like where magneto stands trial and the shit he does to wolverine Also, I like how it adapts the characters perfectly, in which they all get their time to shine. And I do mean everybody gets their time to shine. Like Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey, Beast, Storm, Jubilee, Sunspot, Cable, Forge, Morph, Magneto, and Professor X. Like, for instance, I only knew the X-Men from the movies. And in the animated series, you get to see them have their moments. And, yeah, the movies pretty much did some of the X-Men dirty, like Cyclops. Like, holy fuck. And in this show, he became one of my personal favorites, along with Magneto. Like, Cyclops is pretty much the Boy Scout of the group as he wants to lead the team, but he also wants to start his own family, and he has to struggle to choose between the two. And I feel really sorry for him after learning that the woman he loves is not who she seems, and having to send his newborn baby boy to the future in order to be cured. But at least he got to see his son again as Cable. Let's skip the reunion. 
dad. And they get to share some father-son bonding. Almost forgot. <laughs> Am I going to war or a circus? What'd you expect? Black leather? I, I understood that reference. And there's Magneto. And yep, he's like the most tragic character in this show. Like he wants to atone for his past sins and use Charles Xavier's methods in order to bring harmony between humans and mutants. Unfortunately, he has proven right that some humans do not give a fuck about the mutants. The attack on Genosha was his tipping point, and it unfortunately got him going back to his old ways, and he uses extreme measures to achieve his goals, no matter who or what is in his way. Also, the music is really good here, as it goes hard during the action scenes and even the sad scenes. Furthermore, it was cool to see cameos from other Marvel characters like Captain America, Spider-Man, The Hulk, Doctor Doom, Baron Zemo, Daredevil, and Doctor Strange, among others, of course. And I hope that rumor about them bringing back the 90s Spider-Man animated series is true, cause goddamn, I will watch the fuck out of that. So overall, this series is mind-blowing. It not only sticks close to the original animation from the 90s series, but it also enhances it. And as you can see how high quality it is, and they get to do shit they couldn't do back in the 90s. And it's also nice to see not just an old series coming back, but also seeing heroes being heroes once again. Especially with Marvel. And so I'll give this series 5 out of 5 X's. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Oh, and if you like my work, support the channel at Ko-Fi. There you can support me and you can drop suggestions for any future projects you want me to check out. And you get to have your names in the credits as your contributions help this channel stay afloat. And if you do support me, I thank you very much and I appreciate it very much. So stay safe out there and goodbye.